see she's rooting tired. around and turning her head to the side and sticking her tongue out, yeah. putting her hands in her mouth. So those yes, are all active. feeding cues that she's hungry. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hand her to you for just a second. Okay. okay. Got her. Mm -hmm. awesome. She is 20 inches long. You gonna eat in a minute, Stink. Good morning, y'all. So it is currently March 9th, the day of my baby birthday. I did it. It's currently 10.30 and I'm about to change myself. So I'm gonna show you guys the process and stuff. Basically, I got this bag hanging on my door. I got some little mesh underwear. And I gotta put this big old pad in there, a little maxi pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I go pee. I'm so tired, y'all. Ever since I gave birth, I've still been in pain. Nothing like them contraction pains. Let me get that straight. Nothing compared to that. I've been cramping like I've been on my period. The stitches were hurting because like I told you guys, I did tear. It's like I can't catch a break. I ain't been able to really get no sleep for it. That's all she been doing. And that's what she doing right now. Actually, let me show you guys. Asleep. I'm gonna take advantage of that in a minute and go lay down once I change diaper, adult diaper. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to stand by myself because my leg was just so numb. I even after they stopped the epidural, it took a couple hours just my left leg. But this is the period bottle they gave me. I filled it with like a little bit higher than room temperature water. They said fill it with the hottest amount of water you can take. So I filled it all the way up because after I pee, I gotta clean with this, just dab with some tissue. And then after that, I can spray myself with this Dermaplast that they also provided. Spray my front and my back area, because surprisingly, my butt hurt. My butt hole be on fire. So I'ma spray that, and then I put these little witch hazel pads inside of my little adult diaper. Probably like two or three. These are like really soothing, and they're pretty big. So. So y'all, here go the snacks back there. Like, this ain't even 24 hours after. This ain't even 12 hours after. This is what she looking like. Oh, look, another baby born. But right now, it's just me and Sunny. Everybody left, my mama went home. Cause we wasn't doing nothing but sleeping, me and Sonny. And Rico went home to take his mom home. He'll be back later. It's, he said it was storming or whatever. And he could barely see, so he didn't want to drive in the storm. So he gonna stay there, take a shower, take a nap, and he gonna come back. But yeah, it's just us right now. I just changed myself and I changed my little bed pad. So I'm about to lay back down and go to sleep while she's sleeping. They say, sleep when the baby sleep. And that's what I shall do. So yeah, that's just a little update. She's her sucking her little pansy. That's so cute. All right, y'all. So it's currently around 12.30. They just brought my lunch. I picked a burger. My nurse just came out of here to help me with her breastfeeding. So we just tried to attempt to breastfeed. Um, but her latching is still not the best. So she's going to call the lactician and they're gonna come sooner or later. I know y'all looking at me like, girl, what is what is going on? Look at my eyes, cause I'm looking at myself like, I'm so tired, I haven't gotten too much sleep. A hospital is just not the place you gonna get sleep. Just know when you give birth or when you, if you get sick or anything like that, your ass is not going to bed. They not checking me, they checking her. They not checking her, they checking me. As soon as I get to laying down and getting comfortable, I get up. I'm knocking on the door. Mm. I mean, it's cold, but it's good. I got here Tuesday night. 
It's currently Thursday. Later on around four, my friend Jemaya is coming. The girl that brought me to the hospital. Yeah, her and her daughter is coming up here so they can meet each other. I look forward to that, that little company. But they're gonna come back in here soon because I gotta do her hepatitis B shot. I keep thinking it's A. Careful, good as fuck though. Can't even talk to you. I need you know I was hungry for real. Mm. All right, y'all, yeah, I'm all fresh and clean out the shower. I got a new gown. They gave me this pretty pink one, and I love it. It's definitely matching the girl vibes. And I'm wearing my little fuzzy socks because my socks did end up getting blood on them, so I'm glad I didn't put these on before I gave birth. We just chilling, Rico on the way. Um, I just ordered my dinner, so that should be up shortly. Isani's just sleeping as always. That's all she do. She just sleep. She a good baby. It's really hot in here. Can't even capture you guys. So this portable fan definitely coming in use. I'm about to turn this on and get in the bed. Look, I had to call down there and tell them that they forgot my room for an order. Cause like, this is the second time they did this. They forgot me for breakfast and then now they forgot me for dinner. Like, who they think they is? I'm hungry. Y'all, look, look at my face, it's so fat. You need to hurry up and go down. Look who's here. Oh. Kennedy. Why, why you gonna abuse me on camera like that? Who is that? Who is that? She came to see her friend. She ain't doing nothing but sleeping. She ain't even seen what her friend look like yet. But yeah, I've been filling out paperwork because they tell me something gotta get done before my nurse shift over with. It's 529. But they brought me my food. So first off, we got a salad with the ranchy ranch, of course. Then the special was pork loans, I think that's what it's called, with seasoned rice or cilantro rice and some gravy. I got a brownie for my dessert, which looked really good actually. And then some cranberry juice for my drink. And that is the bomb. Like an hour after I gave birth, when I, I could eat something, that was the first drink that I like drank or whatever, because that's really all I wanted, because it was two o'clock three o'clock in the morning so i just wanted me something to drink my voice was raspy and dry my throat was dry and that thing was good that thing was a blessing so i had to spend the block on it again you know, everybody keep texting me about this old baby i didn't even post it my mama posted it now i got people calling me and i do not want to talk to these people right now I thought she was staying on wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> You lying. Ask her what's wrong. You want me to ask her? Because I want to know what all this noise is. I done got comfortable waking up my baby. I'm going to ask her. You take too long. So that's how you get them to do it, y'all. Somebody went out with the baby and then, like I said, what they was trying to run away or something? Ah, I tried to steal the baby. Man, want my baby, so I don't care. Look at it, don't even care. Try to get 
are you all day? It's okay. Is it because it's cold? Is the water cold or something? It's not cold. Oh. She just being, yeah. <laughs> I thought they would like that. Well, maybe if they're like submerged in warm water, but just getting the rub down is probably. I feel better, huh? Probably gonna poop again though. Just one thing, Kentucky. Yeah. It's yummy, huh? So Winslow, you got a Language. Look, got caught. Oh, you got uh huh. Uh -huh. Damn. Damn. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I ain't really been talking to y'all today. It's ten o'clock, and we already done a lot today. I got something for your video. Don't. He been farting up all day. Come on now, don't show them how stinky you is. Today is March tenth. At she 10 o'clock. That's because she just swaddled. She said when, you, when they get swaddled, they be um comfortable. This morning, they woke her up to do her first bath, which I recorded. That was around like 4 o'clock or something like that. She didn't really clean her that good, so we got to wait till I guess we go home to clean her good. Because she still got stuff in her hair and everything. We've been trying to breastfeed, but she's still not latching for real. And so I tried to pump, which they gave me this little machine here to use. With the little pumps and stuff, but they ain't working, so I gotta call my nurse here in a few to figure out what's going on or get the lactation nurse back in here. She should be here sometime today. They just came and did her hearing test. They said she passed. So this her results. I gotta give it to her pediatrician. He was mad because look what it say. Already. Isani Crenshaw. That's not supposed to be her last name. He wanted me to talk to the nurse about that. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Alright, y'all. So the time is currently 1219. They just brought my dinner over, but I'm over here setting her up. I swallowed her the best way I can. Got on her little outfit and signed her little plaque so we can take some cute little photos. She is giving me a hard time because she's sleeping. I really want her to smile so we can get her little dimple. But she not having it. But I'm still getting some cute ones. And she keep trying to pop on out. Because I ain't do it right. But that's just right now. I just wanted y'all to see her. Look at her little cell. Her little chickies. Her little chickies. <laughs> Here is what is for lunch. This don't even look like lunch. This is like a dinner. I got some braised potato roast with gravy. It comes with red roast potatoes and whole baby carrots. And there is how that's looking. This is kind of cold, so I'm about to go put this in the microwave. It comes with a roll, and I got another brownie because that brownie was really good. And then, like I said, cranberry juice is the bomb.com. And then here is the menu for dinner. So for dinner, it looks like we're gonna have chicken parmesan with buttered fettuccine pasta and seasoned zucchini and squash, which actually sounds pretty good. After this, I'm going to call my lactician so she can come up here and help breastfeed her so she can get a little bit more in her system. I did pump and I got about five ounces of Clostrum, close, whatever they said it's called. She drunk that little bit, but that's not enough to fill up her little belly. So I'm gonna try and get some more before I keep feeding her this formula because she really hasn't had too much breast milk and hers been like strictly formula so far. For the whole day, basically it's just been formula and I'm not liking that. So 
all right y'all so update it is now 3 20 and miss thing just came back they took her out the room they did a little heart check or whatever they checked her for jaundice which they've been doing this whole time um and then she says she did something else but i don't remember but she said she did good she passed the heart test 100 100 flying stars i knew my baby would she in here sleeping we got our little matching bonnets on everybody just think it's so cute like oh my gosh i've never seen a baby with a, like a little bonnet i told you guys in my what's in my hospital bag i never seen anybody mention a pack of bonnet and i thought it was just a super cute idea because y'all see how much hair this little thing got and how much she sleeps i don't want her hair getting rubbed out the electricianist did end up coming she fed for a good like five minutes or whatever she does so good when the lady's in the room and then when she leaves it's just like let's show out but i did end up breast pumping and i got like five little milliliters of colostrum and i put that in with the rest of her inflamil i did give her some more of that just because i know she wasn't like full off of that or whatever so you have to chart everything she does when it comes down to what she ate how much she ate you know the time um if she pooped or peed and along you know the time with that too so the last time i have marked that she ate was 220 it's 320 they want her to eat every two to three hours so she got enough time to sleep we both about to take a little bit of nap before the bum rush of people get here because he is coming back with his family i'm trying not to keep holding her but i really just want her to lay in the bed with me and we can go to lay, lay down together you also doing good in there so i don't know yet uh, that food was nasty so my mom brought me some mcdonald's um because i couldn't eat that that was disgusting zero out of ten first meal i did not like can't even catch you. It's March 11 at 9.30. Today is the day I get to go home. I, there is no exact time is when we get the skedaddle up out of here. I just know I'm ready to go. I feel like I'm about to make my first bowel movement right now. That may be TMI, but I'm super excited for that because I haven't did it since I've been here. And um, they've been giving me stool softening and stuff. And I'm like, what's going on here? So I'm just looking at myself and my snatchback game like, Don't play with them. Don't play with them. You can barely see my stress marks. Like, they there though. Here go baby. Here go baby. Say hi, Sonny. Look at them eyebrows, girl. Look at them eyebrows. But yeah, this is our view. It's so pretty outside, but I'm about to get dressed and get ready for the day and to get up out of here. I just want to do a proper introduction for today because it definitely very much deserves it. Like, I'm going home. I'm going home. I ain't been home in three motherfucking days, y'all. Three motherfucking days. That blood pressure was killing me, but it's regulated. I'm on pills now, so we can... Alright, 
yeah, so it's currently 406. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> it's currently 406. Rico and his sisters and them just left. They just came to see Sonny before they hit the road and go back home. Um, I've been just discharged since like two o'clock, but we had some problems getting my car here. And plus they wanted to see the baby, like I said, before they go. But basically I got the whole room packed up. Here go my little section right there. We're just waiting on mommy. She went to go get my car cause I got the uh, car seat in it and stuff, but it's a wrap for us, baby. Got the little outfit on, postpartum belly. With the postpartum titties. <laughs> Look at us. Purr, don't mind my little, my diaper little outline right there, but. I know I've looked so tired throughout this video, but that's the mommy on the life. It's okay, cause my glow is coming back. My skin is definitely very much clearing up. And that's all I'm excited for. I'm excited for this new journey in motherhood. Um, if you guys wanna stay tuned, follow along with me, make sure you, Hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss any time I upload and you get notified when the video is drops freshly. You can be the first to comment and like, all that good stuff. In the description box will be linked my pregnancy playlist. I documented this whole pregnancy before I gave birth. So if you guys want to go see the process and the steps I took up into now, it's all linked in the playlist in order. So you can catch up like that. But other than that, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social medias, they're on the screen. You get to see what I do in my day-to-day -day life outside of YouTube, especially with baby Sonny now. And I just love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>